eVelo has made the perfect electric bike. Well, at least the perfect electric bike for me. This bike hits almost all of my favorite things about a commuter, daily driver, urban explorer, really the bread and butter cycling experience for my taste. I have a big appetite for exploring my world and the eVelo Atlas holds up. So let's get to it. All right, so let's just go ahead and start at the start. The big selling point of the Atlas is the integration of the motor, gearing, and the belt drive between them. The pedaling action is incredibly good in almost every way. So let's start with the motor. The Atlas is using one of the better motors on the market, the Bafang M600. This motor rivals the smoothness of motors from Bosch, Shimano, Yamaha, and others. Although the Bafang puts out a lot more power and allows for throttle engagement as well. This is really the best of both worlds. High class pedaling, high torque, and throttle power right where it counts. Compared to the other motors, the Bafang has less features in terms of automatic mode and accessories, but I'm really 110% okay with that. Let me tell you why. Also on the Atlas is the stepless hub gearing. This essentially means that twisting the gear changer up on the handlebars, it doesn't step from one gear to another, but it seamlessly flows through the gearing band, even under load. Now this takes the guesswork out of the process and allows the rider to change gears even when stopped at a light. Combined with the smooth pedal assist from that awesome motor, it's already gearing up to be an awesome bike, but there's one more headliner on this poster, and that is the belt drive between the motor and the hub. It is incredible. Not only does this make the movement and pedaling much more intuitive, relaxing, and responsive, it also hugely reduces wear and tear, eliminates grease on the mechanism, and it can withstand harsh elements. Wherever possible, I prefer a belt drive over a chain, and it's hard to find a cyclist who wouldn't agree. Other eVelo bikes have a totally automatic gear shifting mechanism, shown here, which is a really cool device, but it does take some getting used to. For people who are accustomed to cycling and changing gears, the manual dial, such as on the Atlas, is quite preferred for the seasoned rider. So for me, the Atlas is already pretty much perfect, and the rest of the bike is completely competent, even has a couple surprises. The integrated battery makes for a really clean look and a long ride. Housing inside is a 48 volt, 15 amp hour Samsung pack. Using the slick pedal assist, I'm gonna guess that this would go maybe 60 miles on a charge, probably 30 miles at full throttle. But guess what? Evelo has a plug and play second battery, which adds a 48 volt, 14.5 amp hour pack on the rear rack. With almost double the range, I think this could reach 100 miles, which is <laughs> incredible for a bike that looks this good. There really is nothing missing on this adventure urban commuter. I mean, check out these tires. Schwalbe Supermoto X with amazing puncture resistance, durable tread, and comfortable air volume. With the ride on these custom wheels from eVelo, adding stability and efficiency, it's even in the smallest of places. While we're down here, we may as well check out the brakes, which are awesome too. Dual piston hydraulic discs with 180 millimeters of space. Simply perfect. And who could forget that front fork with 100 millimeters of travel? Well, I could forget it because I'm so excited about everything else. So what are the downsides to this incredibly strong bike? The smoothness and elegance of the gearing is a sharp contrast to the general stiffness on the backside. The Atlas doesn't have a suspension in the back, the seat post is solid, and the saddle itself isn't exactly a lazy boy. If you're traveling off the beaten path and get into some bumpy roads or terrain, then a more comfortable saddle, possibly a seat post, that would be a good recommendation. Also, might be a personal thing, but I really wish the Atlas came in different frame options, possibly with more exciting color or aesthetics. As it stands, the Atlas is minimalist in the appearance and immensely practical in application. That's really good for wide appeal, but maybe I'm just a sucker for a flashy looking bike. If I'm gonna get nitpicky, then the water bottle mount is kind of low and on certain sizes of a bottle that can bash into the frame and scratch up the paint. But yeah, to get one of the best electric bikes for that purpose, it's not gonna be crazy cheap, but you knew that already, right? The eVelo Atlas has an MSRP of $4,699, but right now it's on sale for $3,524. Now for this price, the eVelo Atlas is wildly superior in any way to a bike that was sold for the same price just four years ago. And I know that from experience. 
Now, depending on availability, they also have open box specials, which is already making me rethink how much I could get for my old record collection on eBay. I gotta say that second battery slash rear rack slash light combo, it is kind of pricey at $799, but for a plug and play option, it does look incredible. This bike is so smooth and with such great gear, I almost forget it's even there. With a few tweaks, like the seat for example, I could probably ride it all day, any day, <laughs> every day. In the rigors of daily driving or the spontaneity of exploration, the Evelo Atlas really holds up. So there's my two cents on it, but what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm Mikey for Electrek and I will see you on the later.